We're here to honor a mayor's legend. Coach Ron Bell passed on to his heavenly home on December 29, 2012. Coach Bell's wife, Peggy, started a scholarship fund upon his death to serve Mary. To date, his former players and friends have donated over $50,000 to this fund to help an incoming Mayor's student who loves basketball. Mayor's school has honored only one coach, Jerry Queen, with the retirement of his baseball jersey. Tonight, we had a second legendary coach as we retire one of the icon iconic sweaters worn by Ron Bell during his tenure as Mayor's basketball coach. Coach Bell was known for his colorful sweaters and ever-present arrow, Arrowhead, which paid tribute to his Cherokee upbringing. We would like to welcome Coach Bell's wife, Peggy, along with granddaughter, Kristen, class of 1989, and her husband, Eric, along with Coach Bell's beloved granddaughters, Lane and Ella. Please make your way to center court, along with <laughs> Father Roland, Kevin Malone, and Tommy Marshall. And all of Coach Bell's former players and friends to make your way to tonight's presentation. Start tonight with a couple of words from our football coach, Alan Chadwick, who worked with Coach Bell for over 30 years. I shared an office with Ron Bell for 37 years. Some would call it a curse. <laughs> At the very least, I would call it an education. It was an education because Coach Ron Bell was the most unique individual I've ever known. His personality was larger than Stone Mountain. His obsession with detail was extraordinary. His ability to tell a story around the campfire would last for hours. He lived life at 100 miles an hour, and never failed to make the most of every single day. His obsession with preparation was off the charts. Most of that was in preparing scouting reports for his basketball teams, packing for outdoor adventures, or even picking out a package of bacon at a grocery store. He certainly loved the outdoors, camping, canoeing, hiking, fishing, skiing. He loved it all. And he was most happy when he was outdoors. He was the most competitive person I've ever known. He wouldn't even let me go home one night we were playing darts until he was beating me in a game. <laughs> you name a sport and he could do it. Baseball, badminton, pool, tennis, golf, softball, ping pong, archery. He could do it all and he did it all very well. The biggest influence in my life has been coaches. I've had the fortune, the good fortune to be associated with some of the finest men that I know in my life high school, college, and those here at Marist as well. Coaches like Dean Harvest, Jerry Queen, Bud Murray, Dan Perez, Steve Franks, and Gary Norton. But I would say none had as much an influence on me in my life as Ron Bell. He took me under his wing as a young coach here at Marist. He taught me so much. I'm truly indebted to Ron Bell for helping me become a better coach and a better person. I love that man. I love this man. Thank you all for giving me this opportunity to talk to you. Thank you.
Thank you very much, Coach Shadwick. First, I want to give a shout out to Kit Walsh, who graduated in 1987. His daughter, Merritt, designed this iconic, I don't know what you call his haircut peg, but this iconic haircut with the mustache. Um, and I'd also like to recognize the three Lady Wrinkled Tigers who are here from Coach Bell's first teams in 1971.
Thank you.